to embed the video you made with Stream and may have edited with Clipchamp and then downloaded from either one of those places, um, you're going to do the following. So you'll either make your new thread or this can be in a reply thread to a message that's already on the board. You're going to type whatever you want in the box and make a title. Then you're going to click this insert stuff button. It's the one with the shapes on it. When you get there, you're going to choose add video note. It's really important that you use that. That's how you're gonna actually get this video embedded. You're going to choose upload file. Then you can upload any format here. If you have recorded and downloaded from stream directly, you'll have a WebM file. If you have used Clipchamp to edit after recording on stream and exported from there, you might have an MP4 file. So just go find that on your computer um, and I'll do the WebM. You're gonna open it up. You'll see that this is the file here. You'll click next. You'll put a title for the video. You'll click English and automatically generate captions and then next. This step is variable in length, depending on your internet speed and how large your video is. Then you'll see when your video is inserted by a black box, your video might show already, but most likely it's gonna be being processed still. That's fine, you can still click insert. Then you'll see your video here. Then you can go down to post, and that should put your video directly into thread. So you can open it up here. It's being processed still, but just in a few minutes, you'll be able to see the video. You may need to refresh the page, but eventually you'll see your video here. The reason we do it like this is so that your instructor and classmates can play the video directly in D2L. Um, if you put a link in here by inserting in some other way, then it's gonna either open up in a new window or even make you download the file. And we don't want everyone to have to do that. Embed codes are tricky from stream because the permissions aren't easy to set to allow everyone in the class and your instructor to see it. So that's why we don't use the embed code, but instead insert video note and then uploading the file directly there.